How's it going, New World? Sephir here, and today we are going to take a look at a few skills that I know are giving a lot of people trouble, and that is going to be logging and mining. So I wanted to give you a little bit of tips and tricks regarding this, as there is a method that you can use to actually accelerate this leveling process by a lot. Uh, so we'll demonstrate this here on logging in particular. So with uh, right around like that 50 mark, maybe 45, 50 mark, you can start to access about 300 points in an attribute uh, stat. And here you can see I have 29 committed in strength, so I could also dump those over to con. I'd be well over into the 300 con marker, and that's not even with optimized gear. That's just, you know, a little bit of things here and there. As you can see, I don't have any con on my weapons. I could easily get 25 con on certain weapons. So you could probably access this, maybe level 40 if you had some decent pure constitution gear sets but what we're looking at is getting up to this 300 point cap which gives us a 25 percent chance to chop down a tree in a single swing so that's pretty cool right um so we can come up here and look there we go we got it <clears throat> chop down the tree in the single swing but what happens is when you go to these trees and let's say i don't get the chop right i still have to do the full duration of the chop or do you there actually is a technique that you can do that i will now demonstrate where you can cancel your chop and start another chop and you will get an additional 25% chance every time you start the chop on the tree. Oh, this gold wants some. Oh man, he's kicking my butt. Okay, let's see, there we go. <laughs> uh, so we'll deal with that. So you can get a 25% additional chance to chop down the tree. So here I'm gonna go ahead and swing an additional time by canceling it. And I'll tell you exactly how to do that here in a second. You can get unlucky with RNG. And this does work on every single tree, so you can kind of deforest the area very quickly. And this is why you would want to wait to level up something like this. As you can see there, I procced it on the second swing by canceling it. And that was from uh, basically just canceling my animation for the chop and restarting a chop animation. So let's go ahead and find some other area over here where we can demonstrate this. But this is... By by holding like forward when you chop something, you will cancel your animation and then you'll go off to the side. So all you have to do is hold a direction and then you will stop that animation of chopping. Like it'll act like it wants you to run off to the side or something like that and then you can restart a chopping animation. And as you can see, I can quickly get down these trees even on mature, even on weird wood. And I think there is some weird wood trees so we'll go ahead and try to find those up in the... Uh, northern area so we can demonstrate that a little bit but you can reset this and keep chopping over and over and end up logging uh really quickly right like i have an ori calcum axe but really you don't need it this could work with a flint axe like you have a 25 percent chance to instantly cut down the tree regardless of what you do so as long as you're resetting this animation exactly like this then you're going to keep procking those chances so let's try to go a little north here and see if we can find uh, a weird wood tree <clears throat> and while we head up here, we can talk about how this works for mining as well, because you have 300 uh, mining with the 25% chance to mine an ore with a single swing. So this is going to be great for like star metal and gold veins and lodestone and even ori calcum, because they take forever to mine, right? It just takes so long. But if you keep resetting the animation with that 25% chance to get the swing down, then all of a sudden it doesn't take that long and it's actually pretty quick so you can just head on your route and get other sorts of things here so here we have some weird wood trees coming up uh we'll go ahead and demonstrate uh, the technique on that uh but do keep in mind with mining it will be a different slightly different technique which i'll put in another video but uh basically the way you interact with the animation on the mining node is a bit different than the trees so here we go Oh, got it in one hit, so that's perfect there. I just saved a bunch of time. I don't have to deal with that weirwood tree. Didn't get it here, but I'll tech, and I got it on the second hit. So I chopped down that entire weirwood giant tree in literally, like, one or two seconds, right? And so you can just keep doing this over and over. It also works on ironwood trees, ori cow company, you know, all those veins and things of that nature. So you can kind of just use a bit of a technique and animation cancel like you would like a dodge roll and all other sort of stuff to just get yourself a faster logging experience here. So in summary, I would recommend that you do not power level your logging at the early levels. Wait till you can get that 300 stat 
Um, and I, you know, I talked about this in a lot of my videos before because it's very important. Uh, once you get that 300 stat, you can gear your um, attribute set to specifically be designed to do this. And you can save yourself so much time. Like, imagine just one-shotting, two-shotting every tree in the forest. And, you know, we we knew about this a long time ago in the alpha preview and all this stuff. And, you know, we reported it and everything. We were like, hey, guys, you know, this is a thing. What's this? But... I mean, nothing happened, so like I guess <laughs> I guess here we are. So uh, we can kind of just uh, you know use this to our advantage to make these grinds a little bit easier. Uh, it will speed you up by like two to three times, maybe even four times the speed. It can be quite quite crazy sometimes, just depending on your luck. Uh, sometimes you can get like horribly unlucky, but um, you know doing things like this is going to power level your logging up. So so don't grind it out with that you know, low attribute, low tool or whatever. Just get enough to do your stuff and then you can worry about getting up to 200 logging later. So this is gonna be the fastest way for you to level up logging. Uh, you can also apply this on the elemental animals as well. So like if there's a elemental bear that you killed or a elemental um, wolf or something like that, you can also uh, mine cancel with them and kind of get rid of some of these uh, you know, long chopping times and turn them into very quick, easy experience gains. And, uh, you know, hopefully this helps everyone save some time because logging is monstrous. I've been doing it a while now and oh my God, I'm at 154. It's a nightmare. Mining, I finally almost am at 200. So I'm able to get a lot of this smelting and stuff like that in there. Uh, but yeah, it's a huge time save. So I would strongly recommend you waiting till you hit that 300 threshold and then focusing on things like this. Um, so as I mentioned, the mining technique is slightly different because when you swing with a mining technique, you swing overhead. Uh, so I'll show that in, in a later video, but like this, like when you swing for a deadwood tree, you swing overhead. So it's harder to cancel. As you can see, it took me quite a while there. So the mining technique, a lot of times you just hop. So you would just do a quick hop and then go back to the animation. So if you can short hop, kind of like in like a Smash Bros Ultimate or whatever the other Smash Bros, just do a real quick short hop instead of a long hop. Uh, that should help you out a little bit. I don't know if that actually, actually is a short hop. It feels like it to me. Sometimes I can very lightly tap it. Maybe there's not. Maybe I'm, I'm delusional here. <laughs> but uh, I like to call it a short hop. You just do a little, a little quick bounce and, uh, you know, kind of get up there a little faster. So um, we'll cover some more information on that later. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope that this was helpful towards you. Uh, if it was, be sure to subscribe, like, and hit the bell down below uh, so you can check out additional content and information updates like this. We are going to be covering everything in the end game. We're going to be covering the best in slot for all items and builds and all of these techniques and everything you need to get ahead and stay ahead. And that's going to be like something that you can expect from this channel. So if you're interested in that, this is going to be a place to come for it. We also have a join button down below. So if you are interested, we have a membership package, which has emojis and badges, and you get some special perks and things like that uh, within the Discord and within the comment sections of YouTube. We also have the Discord as well, which is a link down below in the description. Anybody can join that. You are welcome to. We have a great community, tons of people sharing builds and ideas and farms and different types of things like that. Uh, in that section down there. Uh, so make sure to look at that. And then two other things I wanted to mention, uh, we are reopening uh, applications on Tomoa Chan, our server for level 60s only. So if you are level 60 on Tomoa Chan, then we will be opening that. We will also be opening applications to our guild for other level 60s from other servers at a later date. Once we decide what all this server, you know, transfer update madness is going on, uh, we don't have too much on that, but Amazon has a little bit. Uh, so we wanted to kind of wait a bit and see where we were going um, in that regard. And then the final note that we do have uh, is we are launching a sort of PvP sort of league uh, that will be happening soon. That will also be on my Discord. It's called Aeternum League. And we will be looking at uh, duels and high-level fights between a lot of good players. We're probably even gonna throw together some tournaments and things like that, but it's gonna be posted at a later date, but I just wanted to let everybody know so that they are aware that the signups will be run through that Discord. So we're gonna have a bracket that you can sign up with and hopefully win some cool prizes and all that stuff. We're just trying to figure out the logistics of it for now since everybody's kind of split across a bunch of servers and we don't have any sort of global like server, um, you know, transfer or like, 
cross realm play or something like that. So uh, hopefully we'll see that in the future from Amazon. Uh, but until the meantime, we will just have to do with what we got, which is currently a fight club sort of circle type deal, and we all go and duel. We did it in the uh, you know the beta and stuff like that. It was a blast, so it was just a fun time. Uh, so if you're interested in that on the Tomato Chan server, we will be doing that, but we will also be doing it on other servers, and especially European servers and uh, West Coast servers and different things like that. So we're going to come over there and start casting these PvP matches between good players. Uh, so keep an eye out for that, but I think that is pretty much everything, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thanks for your time, appreciate you watching the video and all the support. Everyone, I hope you are having a great time in a tournament, and we will catch you in the next video.